I had seen Jungle Book and I was completely uh, psyched by it. And it occurred to me that somebody actually made a living figuring out how a, a stuffy panther moved. And I thought, you know, I'd always thought as a kid that um, adults were kind of, you know, you'd go to these parties and there would be the forest of legs and, and just very slow moving and lumbering people that kind of seemed boring. And I thought, oh my god, I'm going to grow up to be that. And then, and then I realized um, that there were all these cool jobs. And that uh, uh, one of them was that. One of them, you know, I remember my parents had a Jonathan Winters album. And here was this guy, you know, doing all these voices and sound effects. And he had a place in the world. You know, he could make a living. People were enjoying him. And I thought, it doesn't have to be boring. And then when I realized that somebody made these cartoons, that they didn't just happen, that somebody actually thought about this deeply, you know, uh, it seemed like, wow, the, the adult world is very exciting. So uh, I just tried to find anyone that I knew of that would be at Disney. And um, my parents' friends went to school with the composer for the Disney films. So I met him when he was up in Oregon, because he went to Oregon State University. And he said, next time you're in LA, I'll take you through the studio. So that's what happened. He took me through at uh, 11, and I met all the top people in the animation department. And I actually knew who they were at that point, because there was one book that I kind of read to death about the art of animation. And um, I remember meeting Frank and Ollie, who was two of Disney's nine old men. And they kind of gave me this look like, because George Brun said, uh, who was the composer, said, uh, Brad's uh, get, you know, interested in animation. They kind of gave me this look that was very nice, but it was this look of like, you're going to lose interest in two weeks, kid, mm -hmm. and we'll never see you again. So they were kind of shocked three years later when I showed up with a 15-minute film. Um, and uh, you know, uh, they responded to it, and that's when they kind of got me started mentoring.